Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Today we're going to talk about a feature that's been in the product a long time, but I just find that somehow we've kind of forgotten about it, and it's such a powerful feature, and that is the, is the feature of the tool palette. I love the tool palette. Now I like to get to the tool palette by doing a control three, but there's a variety of different ways, of course, to get to your tool palette. You can get to it from the menus as well. And taking a look at the screen, you'll see I have my little tool palette on there. And it has some basic AutoCAD commands on it, and you'll also see a couple of dynamic blocks. Today I'm going to talk about how easy it is for you to customize the tool palettes by putting your own blocks on it. Because the tool palette is really only valuable if you just if you customize it and personalize it for yourself. That's where the real power comes in. So let's take a look at blocks. So here I have a block of a tree on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that block and you'll see that if I do a right click and move my cursor over to the palette it drops it right onto the palette. The same is true for this great car over here. I'm going to select that car and using my right button I'm going to move my cursor and I'm going to drop that block onto the palette as well. Now taking a look at the screen, here you'll see on here I have this tree, but it, it's, it's more than just a block of a tree. This tree is smart. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to go into properties and you'll see that this particular block knows the layer it's supposed to be on. It knows the scale factor. This is an exact duplication of the block that I selected. It knows it's supposed to be on the plants layer, for example, with a scale of 0.19. So that's kind of nice. That's a really nice feature, right? So if I decided that I wanted to put another one of these on the screen, I just drag and drop it anywhere that I want it to go anywhere I want it to go. It's kind of there running around. Let's say I need another tree there. That is going to look just exactly like the original one. And I can do this in any drawing, right? It's not such a big deal in this drawing, but I can easily drag and drop that into any existing drawing. Now let's take a look at this just a little bit further. There, of course, is my car. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back down to properties on here because let's take a look at the other things that you can do in here. For example, you can edit the scale factor if you don't like that particular scale factor. I like this auxiliary scale option. That allows you to lock the scale factor to the current dim scale or the plot scale. That's pretty powerful. You'll see that it currently knows it has a rotation angle of 90. Maybe you decide that you don't want it to always be stuck with 90. What are the chances our cars are going to always going to go in at that 90 degree angle? You could say yes, you would like it to prompt for a rotation angle. And then you'll see on here, if you want the block to be exploded as it's inserted, you can modify that as well. And of course, these options down here are completely changeable as well, like the layer, the color, line type, etc. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say an OK to accept that. And you'll see that when I select this block, you'll see that it asks me where I want it to go. And you'll see that I do have the opportunity to control the rotation angle, right? So maybe I'd like that to be at uh, 180, whatever the scenario is, or you can pick on the screen. If I just select it and drag and drop it, it's going to want to kind of do it the way it's already done it. So I can go ahead and the way it was already created. So I can go ahead and put that into its little parking space. It's probably not going to be a very good shot here. That's not too bad. All right, so that is the deal with blocks on your palettes. Now put all your blocks on your palettes, customize it the heck out of it, and you'll find yourself just a little bit more productive, maybe a lot more productive. Have a great week.